guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my meet my pets video where i thought i'd introduce you to every single one of my pets and i've somehow avoided making this video in the few years that i've been on youtube so there's a few reasons why i've not filmed this video before i think the first one when i first started is that i feel like i didn't have enough animals to make this more than like a two minute video and i did have like introduction videos for each species so i never felt it was worth a lengthy video and i think more recently the reason why i've not done this is because i have a lot of animals i seem to gravitate towards animals that have very short lifespans things like invertebrates that only live about six months and rats and mice that only live to about two years old so those kind of animals are always coming and going and things can change pretty quickly. Every six months to a year you tend to have the older rats and mice starting to pass away and then obviously having to add younger rats and mice to those groups to keep those social groups going so things are always changing around here but right now things seem pretty stable. Touch wood everyone is doing good and I have no plans of getting any pets anytime soon so I just thought now was a really good time to film this i just give you a general idea of what kind of pets I keep and I might do another one of these in the future, maybe in like a year's time, to update you then. So I might do this in like size order starting with my cat and then working down to the smaller pets so let me go and get him. So this is my cat Hubble, he just recently turned a year old and he's probably not going to stay for very long but he is a domesticated long hair and I get so many questions about what kind of breed he is. He's literally just a mix, he was a feral kitten that was found outside. And I did do a DNA test on him, but he's just a mix of a bunch of different cats, and he's a really good boy. So I adopted Hubble when he was very, very small, about three to four weeks old, and that is far too young to be without his mother and his siblings, but his mother was a feral cat living outside. She gave birth to her litter behind someone's garden shed, and then disappeared, went missing. It is believed she did get hit by a car or something, because they were quite close to a main road, so... That's what happened to his mother and then his two siblings, his two sisters, did get given away to other people very, very young. So that left him in a dog crate by himself, not getting as much attention as I felt that I could give him. So I took him on and he's been with me ever since. But despite all of that, Hubble is just the best cat. He's so funny. He makes me laugh so much on a daily basis because he is just wild and he has his mad moment every single morning where he dashes around the house and he likes to play hide and seek. He also likes to play tag where he jumps halfway up your leg and clings onto it which is hilarious but he's just so playful but at the same time a really really affectionate cat. He loves to be with us, he likes to sit as close as possible and he sleeps next to me every single night so he's just turned into the best cat and I honestly could not ask for anything better. So that is Hubble, I do have a playlist of more cat videos if you'd like to see more of him. He is an indoor cat and he is harness trained and I'm hoping to cat proof our garden for him in the future but that is Hubble, he is my everything and I love him so much. So next up we have my rats, I have six male rats and I'll do this in like age order starting from the oldest all the way to the youngest. So this is Crumble and he is just iconic. I feel like he's probably the main reason that half the people that have subscribed to me in the last year even subscribed in the first place because he is just one of those rats that is just iconic. I don't know what it is about him, he just has a really dopey face and the funniest personality and he is just such a big softy so everyone loves Crumble, I love Crumble and he's just the best boy. So Crumble is a Pearl Dumbo and he is going to be two years old in a couple of months and he is a really good mix of a funny rat that is really energetic, likes to play, he really likes to chase cat toys and he's also just a really affectionate boy, he loves to groom you and lick you whenever you stick your hand in the cage. He is the first one to come to the front and just lick your entire hand so he is just the best well rounded rat and he has the silliest face, he has eyes that go kind of in every direction and he just looks really silly but he is just such a good boy. I also forgot to mention he is from a breeder and he has been neutered and that has made him a bit of a chubby boy but he's been working on it and he's doing a lot better. So that is Mr Crumble. Next up we have Humbug who is from the same breeder as Crumble and he's also going to be two years old in a couple of months and he is a black and white capped top eared boy and he's just a good boy too. He is also neutered because he did struggle with aggression towards the other boys and he also struggled with anxiety around eating around them. He really had a problem with eating around the other boys and that did cause him to lose a bit of weight. He has put all that back on now and he's really confident and is such a foodie, he loves his food. He will do anything for a snack, even if that involves almost taking your hand off, trying to get to it so you do have to be a bit careful but he's just really confident, he loves to run around and he's just an all rounder really good rat. So yeah, that is Humbug. We have got a lot closer over the last couple of months and he's really calmed down a lot since he was neutered, so that is Humbug. 
So then we have my chaotic middle children, Whisper and Twix, who are about a year and a half old, and I adopted them from rescue down south, and they were a result of an accidental litter, and they're the only two rats I have from the same litter. So this is Whisper, I'm not going to hold him for too long because he just had surgery last week, but he is a mink variegated Dumbo. So Whisper has a big personality, he's always popcorning around the cage and jumping all over the place, and he likes to pull things into the cage, me included, he likes to pull me in by my shirt, and tried to boss me around, and the other day he tried to pull me into the cage and into his hammock by my nipple, which was not greatly appreciated, so he has a lot of character. He was just recently neutered for bullying the other boys, but he's already back on the mend. So that's Whisper, he can be quite naughty, but we love him for it. And then this is Twix, he is a top-eared black Berkshire, and he is way smaller than Whisper. So Twix is a fairly hands-off rat, he's never been a fan of being picked up or handled, and he is very dramatic. If you catch him off guard or try to put him back during free roam and you pick him up, he is a screamer and he will let you know that he does not want to be touched. He will tolerate being stroked inside of the cage, but he's never going to be a cuddly rat and that's okay, I respect his boundaries. I just let him live out his best rat life, being the drama queen that he is. So that is Twix. I'm going to put him back now because he would love nothing more than for me to just leave him the hell alone. And last but not least, we have two more boys who are from a breeder. I think they're coming up on about six months now. First up is Pudding, he is a black eyed Siamese Rex Dumbo and he's so soft. So Pudding is a really sensitive boy, I don't think he has the best vision and because of that he is a bit more sensitive to changes. I tried to keep the cage layout and the layout of the free roam quite similar because otherwise he ends up kind of hugging the walls and hugging the cage items because he tends to have a bit more difficulty navigating things and takes things a bit slower than the other rats and that makes him a bit more nervous naturally because I don't think he can see very well. I do think that does play into his personality, it does make him a lot more quiet and cautious and a bit more withdrawn but that does make me really drawn to him. I just want to protect him and mother him and just hold him all the time to protect him from the world but otherwise he's really good, he loves to be with the other rats, he loves to eat food, he just takes things at a bit of a slower pace. So that is Pudding, he is so soft and so curly, I think he might be the curliest Rex I've ever had and he's also pretty big, I think he's on his way to being the biggest rat that I've ever had so that's going to be really interesting to see. Next up we have Pudding's half brother Bagel and he is crazy, he's the polar opposite and he is a mink Rex Dumbo. So Bagel is the complete opposite to his brother, he is a lot more confident and he's just crazy, he's really cheeky, he gets in all the places he shouldn't do, he will literally yeet off my shoulder and fly across the room, which most rats don't tend to do but he is just insane and he always puts the other rats in their place, he's always bothering the older boys and wrestling with them and just being very very cheeky so he is a handful but we love him for it. So that is Bagel, my new curly wild child who is the new troublemaker around here. Next up we have Orbit who is currently my only reptile and she's about three years old, she was a year old when I got her and she's a leopard gecko and I got her from a guy who just got bored of her, I think he would newly had a baby and just didn't really have the time for her anymore. He was also trying to breed her, she was sold to me as a male and he was trying to breed her with another female which obviously was not going to work so I was expecting a male and I did want a male leopard gecko just because females can have issues with like ovulation and stuff but I love her, I've not traded her for the world, she is just the best pet. But she is definitely my easiest pet compared to the other animals that are always causing trouble. She eats really well, she's fine with being handled, she can be a bit sassy sometimes when she decides she's done, she will start clicking at me but apart from that she's really good with being handled. She is just a perfect golden child in appearance and also personality. So that is all bit I've had her for about two and a half years now and I've always wanted a leopard gecko and she is everything I could have asked for so I'm really glad that she came into my life and I was able to offer her a home. So next up we have my mice and honestly nothing brings me joy more than a box full of fancy mice. I have five mice, I have three males that are neutered and two females. This is like lucky dip, I'll start with who I got first which is Fleet. So this here is Fleet, he's a long haired satin and he's a neutered male mouse. And he's the oldest, he's just about over a year old, and I got him from a rescue, and he is so soft and so shiny. He's also a bit of a golf ball, he is very, very round, and definitely the biggest, but he is so confident, he's really chill when it comes to sticking your hand in the cage. He is the first one to come up, and he seems to be on a different sleeping schedule to the rest of the mice. 
he seems to always be awake and ready to go, ready for a treat. So he is such a good boy. I'm not supposed to have favourites, but me and him have a very close bond and I just love him so much. Next up we have the two sisters, Meadow and Dove. I got them from a friend who bred them and they're going to be a year old in about December time. Let's start with Dove. So Dove is a grey and tan uh, mouse, she's female and she is the shyer of the two. They're both very, very intelligent but she is definitely very switched on and knows what she's doing. She knows when she wants to be handled and when she doesn't want to be handled but she is very quick, she likes food and she loves her sister very much. Next up is Meadow. Meadow is a grey and tan pied and she is the bigger of the two. She is on a diet because she's a bit big and she's definitely the more confident out of the two of them but both very sweet, very intelligent mice. Then we also have my two rescue boys, Flurry and Possum. I got them from a rescue and they're about a year old in December time and they came from a case of someone who, where they were breeding as feeders or pets, they escaped and they've been breeding under the floorboards for many, many generations. So these two were rescues and they are neutered and living with my other neutered boy and the two girls. So this boy is Possum. He is a long haired, tricolored satin and he is very, very shy. He's the most reserved out of all of the mice but that's okay, he still tries his best and we still love him for it. And then last but not least is Flurry. He is a tricolored texel and that just means he has very curly, very soft fur and he is a troublemaker. Considering he was not handled very much when he was young, he's still quite confident and outgoing and if anyone's gonna be the escape artist and actually succeed, it's gonna be him. But that is my five mice. I love them all very much. They all have very different personalities and we kind of have 50 shades of mouse going on here because they're all various different shades of grey and cream, but they're all very different and I love them very much. So this is my giant African land snail slushy, and he's not going to cooperate and come out for the camera, but I was sent him back in November of 2020, and that means he's probably about a year old. More specifically, he is an albino body Arcacatina marginata citralis, and although I was not expecting to own him, or at least expecting to own snails this soon, he has been such a joy to own, he's so fascinating, and I really love having him around. So that's Slushy, still not showing his face for the camera. That's fine. And lastly, I have two millipedes. This one is Jubbly the Burmese Beauty, and the second one is hiding somewhere in the soil. I'm not gonna disturb them and try to find them. This one just happened to be on the surface, so good timing, thank you. Um, but I do have a second one, which is a bumblebee, and that is called Solaro. I did have a third one, but I've not seen it in about six months, and I've done a whole tank change and upgrade since then. So I think it's safe to assume that one has unfortunately passed away, but I do still have the two millipedes, Solero and Jubbly. But that is all of my pets. I hope you guys have enjoyed meeting them, and I hope it's cleared things up just in case any of you were confused about what pets I currently have or don't have. I do have extra videos on playlists for most species that I've got, showing you more videos and how I care for them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!